Well, hello folks. Now today's video is all about digital marketing media planning and digital marketing media planning is all about understanding how do we create an entire plan for digital marketing on different platforms. In this media plan, we start our journey with writing down the platforms, the campaign types, the placement, which means where exactly the ads will be showing up, the type of ads, the target audience, the type of clicks, then we'll discuss the total number of clicks, average bidding amount, cost, impressions, conversion rate, and the overall sale. So basically, a media plan is a complete blueprint of what exactly we'll be doing for that project. If you don't have a media plan, you don't actually know how to plan your digital marketing project. Now, people who are watching me through this series would know that in the last video, we have decided to we have set the keywords for this entire project. So we have set keywords Google as well as we set the keywords for SEO. We have also pulled out the average low range and high range biddings. Now biddings are really important to know because without this bidding amount, we cannot create media plan for any project. Now, prior to which we have also discussed about the project planning. We have created an entire plan for this project. We have discussed about how to create product data sheet and then how do you create project inventory how do you set up the e-commerce website so we are in the fifth or sixth video of this course here today we are going to talk about the media planning for digital marketing now as i said before we start doing the media planning we have to get the amount for one cost one click in fact which is called as cost per click and this bidding amount comes from the keyword planner tool so when we added when we added these keywords in the keyword planner tool in fact when we pulled out more keywords from the keyword planner tool we got to note that the bidding amount required for artificial jewelry also for artificial earrings is somewhere in between 5 to 20 rupees so we can fairly bid with somewhere around let's say 8 rupees now again i can go with uh, 12 rupees i can go with 5 rupees we have to go with an average bidding amount initially and once you see that you need to increase the bidding after launching the campaign you may have to increase the bidding amounts or at least you may have to uh, increase biddings on different keywords if not on the entire campaign but initially when we start making the project media planning sheet we have to go with any good bidding amount keeping in our mind now this is the first thing that we need to create the entire project now after this bidding amount, we have to decide the cost for entire Google platform, which means for all of the campaigns in Google, we also have to decide the cost for each and every campaign in Meta. Now, how do we get this cost? Now, people who don't know, we have decided this cost, this entire cost while doing the uh, project planning. So here in project planning sheet, you can see we have decided to have a 60,000 rupees of budget for the monthly paid advertisement cost. So here we can simply divide this 50,000 in two different categories. We can keep 30,000 rupees for Google and remaining 30,000 rupees for Meta. Now, how do we divide this 30,000 in different campaigns? So, and also we have to decide or divide this amount in branding as well as in the sales campaigns. Now the initial two campaigns, which is display and video are the branding campaigns in Google. And the first campaign of Meta, which is awareness campaigns are also a branding campaign. For branding campaign, we don't generate sales. The objective of a branding campaign is to generate impressions, which means getting eyeballs on the videos and banners. For Meta also, we simply have to generate impressions, but no sales for branding campaigns. Now, let's say we decide or we give around 10% of the budget to branding campaigns and we give the remaining 90% budget to the sales campaign because sales eventually are the driving factor these are campaigns are going to drive conversions for the project so let's start with giving somewhere around let's say uh, 1000 rupees a very minimum amount to display 1000 rupees to video and then 1000 rupees to awareness campaign in meta now for google for search is the campaign which generates uh, traffic against what people search on google when you show text ad, shopping also generates traffic against what people search on Google, but then this campaign generate clicks on the shopping ads, which means the product ads. Let's say we go with keeping 8,000 rupees for search, 8,000 rupees for display, 
for performance max we can go with around 6000 rupees and for dynamic remarketing we only go with around 2000 rupees in total we have given around 26000 rupees of budget to the google platform we can still add some more budgets to google campaigns so we are still left with 4000 rupees of budget so i can simply make add 10000 rupees for search campaign and then 10000 rupees the same amount for a uh, shopping campaign so here we have given 30000 rupees of budget to this google platform for meta again we have to decide this divide this budget in different campaigns for traffic campaign we can go with somewhere around 4000 rupees of budget for conversion we can go with little higher than traffic now the objective of traffic campaign is to drive is to drive traffic on the website but conversion in facebook is more to drive conversions and then we have product catalog campaign for which we can to which we can assign somewhere around hmm, let's say we go with 8000 rupees of budget then for lookalike audience we go with 4000 rupees of budget and for remarketing we only go with 2000 rupees of budget so we here here we have kept around 55000 rupees for all of these campaigns together in meta we have one more campaign added recently which is called as uh shopping campaign this is a very recently launched campaign in meta people who have not seen this campaign i can simply take you into meta ads account this is business.facebook.com as of now i'm going to show you any of these accounts which i have so i can simply show you what exactly is could be this meta campaign so let's say we go to one of the available accounts we go to this account and when you go to meta ad center you have to get into adsmanager.facebook.com and here if i simply click on this plus campaign button and go with sales click on continue then this one advantage plus shopping campaign is a very recent campaign launched by meta so you also have to give good amount of budgets to this shopping campaign so a shopping campaign in meta can have a budget of 5000 rupees i guess and in total we are giving 30000 rupees to somewhere around seven campaigns in meta perfect now as the budgets are given it's time to uh, pull out the average cpc amount pull out the number of clicks and views and then find out impressions cost per conversion and total number of sales which means conversions now the average bidding amount for a search campaign is around eight rupees so we already have pulled up this bidding amount from keyword research and planning now the total number of views for a search campaign could be ten thousand divided by eight which means we are talking about generating one two five zero clicks for the search campaign so before we pull out the clicks or views for any campaign we have to pull out the bidding amounts for those campaigns now for search we always pull out the bidding amount from a uh, keyword planner tool it's the easiest way for shopping the bidding amount stays slighter than slightly lesser than the search campaign but we already got bidding amounts for those keywords so for shopping we can expect somewhere around six rupees for a click again i can simply use the same formula is equal to cost divided by bidding amount so here we can get around 1600 clicks for shopping campaign now how about getting the bidding amounts for a display campaign now you can't uh, you don't have a tool available which gives you the bidding amount for display campaign for this display campaign bidding am amount either you have to rely on someone like me or maybe any marketing expert or else you have to launch display campaigns in google now for display campaign we can easily expect a click at the cost of 0 0.60 inr which means 0 0.6 so the click the total number of clicks is equal to cost divided by cpc for youtube view we get it at the cost of one inr i can simply copy and paste this formula from the above cell to the lower cell so we're gonna get thousand views if we pay the cost of one inr for a view we can easily get a, a view in one error in fact we can get it in somewhere around 0 0.5 inr or 0 0.7 inr okay 0 0.5 inr is a decent amount to get a view in youtube so for these branding campaigns we can get it at the cost of 0.5 now these costs are very uh, vague sometimes 
okay this is a formula when you go with display or video campaign if you are going with the broad targetings let's say if you are going with india as a location versus if you are going with delhi as a location then campaigns which are running in india is going to have the higher audience and also these campaigns are going to cost cheaper than the campaigns running for delhi so the more audience you have it's going to cost you lesser rupees also when you nod around the campaign with detailed targeting so let's say if i target uh, a campaign with more audience with more gender with more uh, for, for every specific locations the average bidding amount of that campaign always goes high so it's that's why we can keep uh, we can vary this bidding amount for display and video campaign usually it stays somewhere in between 0 0.5 to somewhere around 2 rupee now let's proceed further for the search campaign we have already deducted the clicks for search campaign also for shopping campaign for performance max now people who don't know performance max is a campaign which shows the ads on all the inventories of google is starting with search then youtube then shopping then display then gmail then google discover so it shows your ad everywhere in google available inventories and the cost for a performance max stays somewhere around two rupees very very cheap and the average number of clicks could be three thousand that's totally fine for dynamic remarketing we can go with around one inr and this dynamic remarketing campaign is going to show the ads only to people who have came on the website earlier because this is a remarketing campaign so we can go with this budget 2000 rupees now it's questionable if i can get a let's say a good amount of traffic on the website to start remarketing campaign because this campaign is something which you have to start after one week once you have good amount of people coming on the website this campaign is only going to show the traffic to people who have already visited the website from any source now this is fine now how about the meta campaigns again this is something where you have to rely on your experience people who has run any sort of meta campaigns would know that all the traffic campaigns in fact all the campaigns in meta uh gives you the similar cost per view because the platforms is same in meta it's either facebook or instagram in google in fact you have different platforms you run either ads on youtube you run ads on google the third party network you add you run ads on search you run ads on shopping and that's why the bidding amount changes but for meta we can go with like the bidding amount is says stays same for most of the campaigns it varies a bit for the awareness campaign we don't go with very precise targeting we don't go with very narrow targeting that's why the bidding for awareness campaign stays around five inr for traffic this could go around six for conversion this could even go around seven for product catalog this could stay around six for lookalike it stays around six for shopping campaign it stays around this is a slightly cheaper these days around five and for remarketing again it stays around six now some people might be thinking i'm why the hell i'm choosing this bidding amount very randomly because media planning is more about projections we are not giving the exact amounts to these clients and people ask me this question all the time why the hell I'm, I'm randomly picking these numbers because i don't have an option i can only pick these numbers from the previous campaigns from the historical data i can't uh, get the actual numbers but then there's a way to find the actual numbers what you can do i know it's gonna sound a bit silly but then i have done it in in a few projects when client came up to me he wanted me to uh, give a media plan for search campaign that was a very big client what i did i simply ran a search campaign for one day only so if you want the exact numbers for that particular project you can do the same you can if you have the funds you can launch that campaign maybe for a day or two and then you can get the exact amount for that particular campaign i know people won't be having funds to run the campaign that's why it's important to rely on someone else's data now how about get the clicks is equal to sign uh, total number of cost divided by average bidding amount and then we simply copy and paste the formulas so here for this project we are gonna get somewhere around sixteen thousand clicks and views okay now this is something which is not really needed in digital marketing media planning Media planning is all about the digital platforms. Media planning is not about organic platforms, but I have simply added this over here so that I could have remembered that the traffic also comes from these sources on the website. So whenever you think about doing marketing activity, you also have to remember to generate traffic from SEO, email marketing, organic marketing, uh, 
referrals and the repeated customer anyways so let's say i take it off from here so you don't get confused about any of these platforms and then let's get get back to the media planning sheet cool so here we have the click numbers available now how about generating the ad visibility numbers which mean which means ctr and impression rates now the first part is to get the ctr for research campaign uh now again you have to either run a campaign you have to get the data from the account but trust me search campaign easily gives you a ctr which means click through rate of somewhere in between five to ten percent so we can easily go with a ctr of six percent for now six because we are not bidding very heavily the moment you increase this bidding amount let's say if i go with 12 rupees as bidding the the average uh ad visibility or ad position in fact will also increase because the more you pay to google the more uh, your ad rank will raise up and then your click rate increases so ctr is all about how many people are clicking the ad out of 100 people now for search it stays around six for shopping it stays better than search because for shopping you also have these product images so it stays around eight percent for performance max it's slightly lesser it stays around three percent for dynamic remarketing on stay around two percent for branding campaign in fact for display campaign it stays around uh only one percent very bad ctr and for uh video now video means uh, what is the click rate now in video we don't have a click rate we have a view rate uh that's why i shall be mentioning it as ctr or view rate this view is only for videos now majorly when we run video campaigns we're going to run the skippable ads for skippable ads the view rate of the video is stays around uh 20 percent or 15 percent 20 percent means when you show your ads or when you send your video to people on youtube 20 percent with people get to see the entire video 15 percent people get to see the entire video and rest of the people skip that video by clicking on the skip now button so we can go with 15 percent view rate over here all right now let's find out the impressions now to find out this impression number we need to have this formula uh remember which is ctr formula this ctr formula means clicks divided by impressions into 100 so click through rate is ctr which means click rate the rate of clicks out of impressions how many people are clicking the ad when they get to see the ad copy so that's why we decide or we divide impressions with or we divide clicks by impressions and multiply it by 100 so impressions will become imp will equal to clicks divided by ctr into 100 quite simple now we already have the ctr available so what we will do we will be dividing clicks by ctr to find the impressions so this impression is equal to clicks this number this value divided by ctr so for a display campaign we will be having this number of impression now we are not multiplying it by 100 because we already have percentage sign in ctr if we don't have the percentage sign in uh, ctr in that case we have to multiply it by 100 as well anyways we again copy and paste the formula in the entire sheet then we have to write down the uh, CTR for meta. This stays around somewhere around two to three percent. We can go fairly with uh, two percent for branding campaign. Then for traffic, it could also be around two percent. Conversion it would be higher, three percent product catalog, three percent lookalike, three percent shopping campaign, three percent remarketing, around three percent. Now you can see this number is a very random very vague again uh if you want to make it more appealing if you want to make it more authentic you can i can change it from three to 2.5 percent maybe but that doesn't that hardly makes a difference right it's gonna stay somewhere in between that it's highly possible that when you launch the campaign this may increase by 50 or percent or more or it may also decrease by the same number mm -hmm. again let's find out the number of impressions so i can simply copy and paste these numbers now let's talk about the conversion rate the most important parameter now conversion rate means how many people are converting after they come on the website now this is the total number of clicks divided by total number of uh i'm sorry this is total number of sales divided by total number of uh 
uh, traffic, which means sales upon clicks. Anyways, now let's find out the conversion rate first. So the conversion rate for all of these campaigns in Google and Meta is something which we cannot find. Again, very disturbing, very confusing. So we have to pull up this conversion rate data from the accounts for product based stores. Product based store means uh, stores where people buy the product. Conversion rates are not really very good. For search, this could go somewhere around 3%. For shopping, it's staying somewhere around 3.5%, maybe 4%. Even if I go with the best amounts. For performance max, could go around 2%. Dynamic remarketing, 2%. We don't have this conversion data for any display or video campaign because these campaigns are for branding. And now the total number of sales is equal to conversion rate, the percentage of people who are getting converted out of the traffic, so into clicks. So here we have 38 conversions from search campaign, somewhere around 67 conversions from shopping campaign, somewhere around uh 60 conversions from that performance max campaign wow and somewhere around 40 conversions from dynamic remarketing campaign it's going to be very difficult for me to find out to get these number of conversions anyways let's try to find out the cost for sale which is going to be equal to uh cost divided by conversions so the cost per sale is staying around oh my god Okay, let's proceed to Meta. For Meta, the conversion rate stays around 2%. This is going to give me a heart attack because I know it's not going to be possible to find out to get leads at such a low cost. I know it from the experience and we may have to decrease this conversion rate. I have mistakenly kept it very, very high. For search, I shall not be going with more than 2. Shopping, not more than 2. Performance max. 1.5 oh my god formatting i have to correct it to 1.5 percent oops formatting i have to correct it to percentage cool 1.5 percent dynamic remarketing nope 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 some two is a very good number oops okay average bidding for dynamic remarketing has to be a bit higher cool awareness campaign two percent traffic two percent conversion oops awareness no traffic for awareness campaign we don't have any conversion data then for traffic it's going to be somewhere around okay two percent conversion 2.5 percent so for conversion in matter it's going to be around 2.5 percent product catalog somewhere same as conversion Localized campaign 2%, shopping campaign somewhere around 2%, remarketing campaign around 2%. Let's find out the total number of conversions which can be generated from this formula is equal to conversion rate multiplied by clicks. All right. Oh my god. Equal to total number of cost for that campaign divided by sales okay so we're talking about generating sales at the cost of uh, i don't know if you can see this yeah so we are talking about generating sales at the cost of 271 rupees this is the expected uh amount that we are generating in this plan i'm getting very bit confused and really scared if i'll be able to generate these number of sales offering the campaign it, it hard it ha happens that the campaign sales does not really get close to these numbers sometimes when you are run the campaign there are a lot many factors which impacts the campaign performance but then this is how you can generate a media plan for any project i think i can go with this one right now and yeah these numbers are really really not very good this is just a projection again and again people i'm sorry if you are not understanding why these numbers are not really correct why i'm keep on changing the numbers because these are the projections these projections can really change your life becomes hell if you provide these projections to a client and you don't meet these numbers so this time also it's quite possible when we run the actual campaigns, we won't be able to meet these numbers. But let's see what exactly is going to happen once we launch all of these campaigns. Perfect. 
So here we complete our media planning process. Now, I guess you know that we have to launch all of these campaigns on Google. We have to launch all of these campaigns on Meta. And let's see what exactly we are going to get out of the uh, all of these campaigns. I'll see you probably in the next video of this course.